So yes, Nick Moore from Mackay. Um, I've been here for a little while, and uh, yeah, one of my favourite styles of catching barra. And obviously, with being in Mackay, you've got some decent impoundments around here with Kinchinton Timbra. And one of my favourite styles of catching barra is the double clutch and jerk baiting barra. So this is a shallow running jerk bait, or relatively shallow running jerk bait. Um, one of my favorites, they really do catch uh, a decent amount of fish, they go well in the salt, uh, they've been barra tuned, uh, so they come with uh, decent terminals and um, uh, decent end points etc, and you can see it's got the wire through the bibs, so uh, they actually last, um, you don't break bibs on them, um, yeah, it's a really good, really decent uh, jerk bait. One of the funnest styles to catch barra, in my opinion. The, the two retrieves, um, that is often used on jerk baits is a uh, quite an aggressive um, hit on a slack line, um, which gets it darting around, and then you then you end up pausing it, um, and you can and you can actually uh, jerk them pretty fast. So, uh, sort of uh, two jerks every say two seconds. So it's uh, jerk jerk, jerk jerk, jerk jerk, that sort of thing. Um, and you can hit, uh, but you need to hit them on slack line. So, and instead of what that actually means is instead of pulling them with the, the line taut, you want a bit of slack, like a little bit of a loop off the end of your end of your rod. Um, and that's quite important because that's what actually makes it dart. If you're pulling them on a straight line, it sort of just pulls them through the water straight. So uh, that's the one thing. Um, the other slower retrieve is. Uh, same sort of a thing, but you're just less aggressive on the rod tip. So um, just slower uh, little hits, um, and it still darts, but it's it's a bit more a bit more finesse, and they they then will dive to a, a slightly um, deeper depth because they will hold their depth better with that slow action. You're not sort of pulling them up; they're not fighting them. Um, the other thing that you can do to either increase depth or um, uh, make them run shallow uh, is obviously your two different leaders, um, fluorocarbon uh, uh, sinks, um, so that will keep it down a little bit more. It does make a slight difference on uh, uh, when you do those slower retrieves, and then obviously mono um, floats. So um, if you really get into the finer details, you can do that sort of stuff with your jerk baits too. So typically, I'll fish it to uh, between three foot and five. Foot, it, it will it will it will achieve that uh, relatively easy. You can sort of get down to six foot um, at times, um, but generally it likes around that five foot uh, five foot mark. Um, yeah, between three and three and five foot, it's it's, it's pretty good. So uh, it is a slightly shallow uh, running jerk bait, which is um, which is pretty good. There's a lot of times that it is needed in the impoundments, uh, shallow running uh, jerk baits. Um, but also really good for your salt uh, creeks where you're fishing drains and uh, that shallower water. So there you won't get away with a deep dive in jerk baits typically. To be honest, I have well, I have a jerk bait tied on <laughs> most of the times, and a lot of the times I will have a shallow and a deep uh, dive in jerk bait. Um, typically, the shallow running jerk baits are, are, are generally like around your lower light areas. Um, uh, uh, at night uh, when you have your cloud cover that sort of stuff um, and the fish are quite active uh, when they're active in the column and they're not sort of sulking on the bottom uh, when they're sort of sulking on the bottom that's where you go to your um, uh, deeper style jerk baits um, so as soon as the fish are becoming active etc then I will go to shallow um, because barrel generally feed upwards and they, they're looking upwards um, so just keeping it above their heads so you need to get feedback from your sounder to ensure what depth they're at, and um, uh, when when they're active, run a shallow one. Yeah, so typical cost uh, for barra, barra in the impoundments is you want to be literally casting into the weed if you can, okay? Um, and 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 the edge of that weed uh, weed bed. Being quite a narrow jerk bait and with a narrow bib, if you give it some few uh, hard hits, 
um, it will actually pull through the weed. And a lot of the time, those barrow are sitting just on the edges of that, of that weed bed. So as soon as it pulls out of that weed bed and it darts out of that weed bed, etc., it catches their attention and they, uh, they strike at it out of reaction. On your open flats, etc., you obviously can want to fish it slightly slower, get it down a little bit deeper, um, and, and, and fish it methodically. Most of my uh, jerk baits, I generally try to get rid of the rings, etc., and I just go with a loop knot, less uh, things in my terminals to go wrong. Um, to me, it takes two seconds to retie a knot, um, etc. The disadvantage is if you're changing a lot, you end up having to change your leaders as well over time. So, uh, but to me, it's worthwhile just getting rid of an extra connection.